Hi guys, um, the purpose of this video is to give you a simple basic introduction into um, Intelligent CV app. Now Intelligent CV app is a CV maker application that you can easily find on your Google Play. Now just go to Google Play and search for Intelligent CV. Now after searching for Intelligent CV, you'll be provided with the different cv applications but for now i'm going to be focusing on intelligent cv app now you just click curriculum vitae app free cv maker 2020 that's intelligent cv app now after clicking the app you'll be provided if it's, you are visiting this site for the first time you'll be provided with the download button because you don't have the app in your phone just click on download but because i've already downloaded the app i'll just click on open now after opening the application you'll be given a profile this profile is where you must add your own details now let's go to personal details on personal details we have names address email phone number that's simple you just add your name your address email and phone number however if there's something that you wanted to add but it's not listed here don't worry just click save i mean add just click add and you'll be provided with add more personal info now on add more personal info you have an option photo date of birth nationality marital status web linkedin facebook and twitter if there's something again that you wanted to add but it's not among these ones you can just click create maybe you wanted to add um driving license right you can just say driving license and select create then just click back after clicking back you'll see now driving license has been listed now now we have name address email phone number driving license if you wanted to add another thing you will simply follow the same instruction just go to create um home language um if you want to add your home language then you just say create then you go back home language will be there now um yeah that's it on personal details however if you want more information there is help site here you can just come here on help and you'll be given full information on what to do and what to add okay now let's go to education now in education you are supposed to add your course school name great and yeah if you are not sure on how to put this just click on example then you'll be provided with the right format and examples different examples now if you have a diploma you just type a diploma on education diploma in public relation maybe it's unisa you type unisa year 2020 okay and it's also important to state, for example, if you are you started in 2018, just type 2018 to 2020. If 2020 was your final year, you just type 2018 to 2020. Okay. Then we go to experience. If you are not sure what to add on experience, you go to example. You'll be provided different example. We have an example of an administrative assistant executive assistant sales associate literate instructor now here are the do's and the don'ts they say tailor your work experience section to each job hmm. job description should be two to three line or it should be list your resume or cv should be one page or two page if you have more experience okay so you just go through this information and find the best information that you can easily use for your cv now let's move on to another thing skills you can do skills like for example if you come for this sec to this section for the first time this is how it's going to look like then you just click add then you add your skill um team building after adding your skill um team building after adding your skill, you'll rate it. You are given levels from one to five. It's very important to, to, to be honest at least and say, okay, if your team building level is not really that good, 
you can actually say three or four then you save the information if there's another skill you wanted to add just click on add it will provide you the options then you can easily add that skill okay now let's move on to another thing objective when it comes to an object objective it's very important to go to an example first and see the different examples that are provided now you can easily be guided by these examples and type your own objective but if you find an objective that best fits your profession you can take that objective but read it it's very important to read it for example this one it says dedicated and experienced accounting professional with proven success managing finances for mid-sized commercial organization make sure that if you choose this one make sure that your level of accounting or the, the profession that you did had to do with managing finances for mid-sized commercial organization because sometimes the the, um, the company that you're applying for they will scan they will check your objective and check your um education and experience then they'll say no there's no way that this person was able to do this there's no way where it's mentioned that he did this and that so make sure that your objective best fits your experience and your educational qualification don't just click something because it has to do with side with finances be sure that whatever you click and whatever you select is for that qualification that you have on references you add your reference name job title company email and phone number now it would, if you don't have the reference email you just skip the email part and add the phone number same with the phone number if you don't have the phone number just type the email and then you'll click save okay but if you have more than four references just click add you have reference two reference three reference four which is um are very advisable to have more references don't have one references it's very very advisable to have at least four references then you just save that information let's um let's go to another thing we have what project we have language cover letter a cover letter um sorry a cover letter you can just go to an example you'll be provided with different cover letters internship cover letter career change cover letter response for advertised job opening wow referral cover letter journal journal submission cover letter email cover letter student cover letter freshers cover letter college admission cover letter cover letter for experience so if you're trying if you're applying for an internship you go for the internship cover letter also make sure that they need a cover letter. if they don't need it don't include it thank you now let's go to another thing um i think we're already here on add section or add more section um on add more section you can easily create something if there is a section that you wanted to add for example if there's something that you wanted to add but it's not among these ones that are provided you can easily add it on add more section whatever information that you wanted to add that you don't think it's here and that you don't see and you believe that it's very important for that information to be provided you can just edit i think for example you can say um technical skills or something you can just say technical skills technical skills and try to find an icon that best fit technical skills any icon that you think will be right for your technical skills just to make your cv look presentable right and um, after selecting technical skills for now i'll just select any icon after selecting your technical skills you'll be given with two options the section type now the simple list and advanced the difference between simple and advanced is because an advanced has title and details title and details so if the section that you're trying to create you want to have a title for that section you go for an advanced so that you can list the title and specify when it comes to details okay for example now i'll just go to simple list simple list technical skills um 
you can just say microsoft word um 2016 now it's very important to list the microsoft word that you you believe that you are good at because sometimes you can say i'm good at excel and they give you the latest excel version and you fail to 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 use it because you are not specific in your cv that no i'm i only know excel 2016 15 or 2018 be very specific on what you know it's very important to be specific be very specific okay we are done with um add more section like i said guys some information will not be provided for you but there's an option that you can use to make a customized cv you just click create new section and you add that thing which you know that is not provided on the information okay now since i didn't add anything i'm not sure if we are going to be able to view our cv um okay after adding that information you'll be given different templates that you can easily choose from now here it's up to you but make sure that every template you choose is a professional template and it best suits your career that's why it's very important for you to have this application for yourself so that you can even try different templates for different job applications some companies don't like um very colorful cvs they just want a professional cv which has your details they, are, they don't care about um, your photos and everything so which is why it's very important for you to have the application this application so that as you do research and you research different companies and you know what they want and what they don't want you can customize your cv according to that application okay okay that's it for today um this is just a simple introduction um if you have more questions regarding the application just um type the questions and i will respond to them by doing another video tutorial of intelligent cv we are going to move into other apps after i am done with this part thank you